And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. And now come the And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Bruce the Dragon. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his speed, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Behind a nice jab. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice counter shot there. Oh, great block there. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Good by Moicano. Oh, vicious uppercut. Wow. That's a big hook. That was a big hook. Nice strike. Oh, his separation from the clinch. Takedown defense is there. Oh. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, another beautiful combination there, DC. If this is not his best striking performance in the UFC, I'm not sure what was. We've never seen him look so good. And confidence starts the combination. Combinations come from confidence and believing that all the reps that you have done in the gym is going to show itself when the octagon door closes. Tonight it has been just that for this fight. Man. Punch there. Moicano strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Taken down by Lee. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like he's... Look at him, he's starting to crash. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He slams him down. He uses straight power to escape that triangle. So great job, great technique. I mean, great physicality. Yeah, this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Moicano's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. 
It's still advantageous, but... It... Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he escapes! He got out! Oh, work, work, work. Wow, work. that is great submission defense. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. Huh? They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, he's got the hands right. going. Five minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now, and Moicano's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood. But when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to, but you got to do things Ready. better defensively. Ultimately, he's going to get you out of here. He's got to move his head. He's got to stay off the center line, and he's got to press forward, put his opponent on his heels. All right, put well. All of a sudden, we got a new storyline in this one, the cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments to fix. He's taking too many of these shots at top. When he's got to move his head right play. He's waiting, being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal. Because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get into side control. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place. You to have make. got the free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one right free and right then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head. We're gonna make a choke. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. That was a slick transition. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there. Oh! Oh, he's wobbled now. And now a left. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And then he throws it over here. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be with him like this, it only exhausts you. Because every moment he's trying to throw, you're not going to it out. You're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio.
cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Another shot here. Moicano gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice jab. One minute to go in round two. Right hook to the head block. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Big elbow! Nice sub attempt. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Swollen. His face is starting to close, my man. It looks really bad. I mean, okay. early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Third round underway. Oh, spinning heel kick connects. Impressive. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. All right now they separate. position here, DC. You have an extra hop in here. Oh, now he's attacking the arm triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, nice job landing that knee strike. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. The ground strike gets through. Lucano's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he got out! Wow, what a great job defensively. Staying aware, staying alert. The moment a little bit of space presented itself, he took it and got himself out of that triangle. Very good defense. Moicano gets back up. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, looks like we might get a stoppage there, but instead he is out and right back to his feet. Nice hook there by Lee. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Big shot to the head. Visibly limping here. Loving it, 
Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Right now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their credit.